How is it everyone? I hope you are good. I have quite a few things which I need to do, so I'm gonna record quite a few. Today I'm alone, I'm in the shop. It's a Sunday, so that's why it isn't that noisy today. Anyways, uh, this one is a Lenovo IGF320. Um, yeah, I'm quite sure it's IGF320. Not 520, but I think it's 320. Anyways, it's dead, so it's not coming on. Let me see if I plug it. I actually didn't plug a charger, I only took it out and checked it because it should. The guy told me that they plugged a uh, wrong charger to this, so he said it was a universal charger. And according to my past experience, if it's a universal charger, most likely they connected the terminals wrong. So when I plug it to the power. There is no response on the DC power supply over there. So, as you can see right over there, like that. So, I'll take it out. Still the same. If I plug it in, it's still the same. Yeah, my power supply is always on 0 0.01 because I've got many cables going to different places. So, I hate having to connect another cable when I need to do something, so I already have them plugged in, like for MacBooks and the likes. So I'm quite sure one of them has got a tiny, tiny bit of resistance, which causes the power supply to detect it as something is plugged in. So let's see, let's check out the motherboard from the case and uh, figure out what's happening with like this. But since since we already know that they like their own charge, uh, we have high chances that it's a it's a dead MOSFET. Because this one, this laptop, I don't believe has got reverse diode. Yeah, it doesn't have a reverse diode. It's MOSFET MOSFET in uh it's inductor MOSFET MOSFET uh, resistor. So we should be able to fix this within a few minutes mm. if only there was a machine for this as well. this is put from the motherboard is supposed to be underneath the, the hinge there uh, that's why this laptop put in close because when i got it like it was you could see there's a hump uh, Okay, our chances that we have, uh, we have a painful situation here. There seems to be a little hump on the EC over there, right in the bottom corner. I'm not sure whether it's a pen mark or it's just something which, some sort of liquid. And yeah, it kind of it kind of looks like a liquid spill. So let's bring it down to there. Okay, so if you look around here, we've got some signs of some tracks of liquid spill, even this side. I'm hoping it's not the situation, so in the meantime, we're gonna check the MOSFET. So, as you already know, our power comes in from the charger, uh, fuse, inductor, MOSFET, MOSFET, resistor. So in this case, they actually put two things before you get to the MOSFETs. They put a fuse, which I'm gonna check now, and the fuse is fine you can hear the beep and you can see the the zero ohm resistance there the fuse is fine so the inductor is also fine i'm sure we check the first mosfet uh it's okay second mosfet it's dead so that's our problem the reason why I'm measuring from there, this cap is connected to the same track. So instead of having to struggle probing my multimeter uh, probes close and close to the MOSFET, it's, it's hard because these probes are big. So trying to squeeze it down there and this side as well, it's kind of hard. You can still see it works, but it's hard. So I just connect, I just probed there on that, on that cap and on this resistor. Present being this cap is in the same line and this from here it goes straight to this resistor so I did this 
what actually it done was I did this because this resistor has got little resistance and it's got like almost zero ohm resistance so it will work so that's our culprit and let's just check if we've got a short in the main power row and we do not have a short we've got 65 kilo ohms yeah we've got like 65 kilo ohm resistance in the main power row. there we go so this is fine let's just change the mosfet and see if our problem gets solved so i happen to have a dead motherboard on my desk i'm quite sure you guys have dealt with this before on this acer the one with the tiny tiny charging port there yeah it always you always have an issue here oh, oh pretty much every time if not there here but if once it goes here you know it's gone because this is the 3.3 volt lane it's not even going to the rim it's close to the rim but it's not for the rim anyways usually it means a dead pch and that means motherboard is fried for life not for life like others they can use a pga machine take out the pch and uh replace it with another one but come on how economic is it to replace a pch of a dual core laptop nah not economic at all if you sell parts of that laptop like the screen the keyboard <laughs> the battery that drive and the RAM if there was any you could pretty like for example this one it had the RAM because there is no on board so it definitely had the RAM you could pretty much make more than to fix the PCH and then try to sell an entire letter or even to pay for a customer so yeah it always gets to a point where you or you have to be reasonable and not waste your time and the customer's time. Besides, what are the chances that you you will actually be able to change that PCH perfectly? So there you go. The culprit is this one over here. Add my light on that. Did I add or I reduced? In the end, angle of uh, light causes it to look like a Okay. There we go. So we've removed that MOSFET. Uh, we'll just, I'll just refresh the surface a little. And I'll just to just to make the new MOSFET flow in quite easy. So yeah, uh, if you've you have been doing this for long you, you already know and such a situation isn't supposed to take you this long to fix it should just be a matter of seconds and you are home free gonna remove the excess solder there on the side so you can see I've removed I've changed it and I've removed it and I've put another one without the use of flux you can do that but yeah most technicians would not advise you to do that okay yeah we've got a response we've got uh, 200 milliamps there, 300, almost 300 milliamps, and it's off. It's gonna come on again, I believe, because we took out the CMOS battery. It's on again a second time, and it's gonna. Lenovo does it once, so yeah, I believe it's on now, and we've got a, a power on LED over there. So this has been fixed. Let's put it in the casing and see if we've got display. Like I said, this hinge is supposed to go over the motherboard, not under the motherboard. Okay, you can go off now. So, yeah, you can hear my hotel station is making noise. 
uh, it's because the Yaksun one, the YX 892, decided to fail on me, the pipe. It failed, and for months I didn't use it. Then I just decided to open it one day, and I discovered the coil just had a, had a little break, so I fixed it, and, they, and it worked for almost a month. Then it went dead again, so I didn't, I didn't open it ever since. Well, it's much quieter and it's uh, it's efficient actually. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice tool to use. And this uh, this one over here. Yeah, like it's those automatic one. You pick it up, it's on. You put it down, it's off. And it's yeah, it's really quiet. Anyways, the 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 thing is, it would make sense if it was a quick or one of the better brands. I mean, it is usable, but as a hobby, I think as, as for someone who's a hobbyist, it's okay because they don't get to use it a lot. <laughs> there goes someone. <laughs> it's been quite. And as, uh, the reason why I'm saying it's good for someone who is a hobbyist is that uh, okay, the school is dead. Uh, is that? I'll see what I can do about that later on. The reason why I'm saying it's good for for someone who's a hobbyist is that you don't get to use it a lot. So you just use it once and then you put it on the side. Perhaps you just use it in the evening or on the weekends when you're home and, and you know, things like that. It's different for someone who's like me who is basically holding a water station 80% of the day, like of the, yeah, of your work time. You're holding a water station in your hand. So that's pretty tricky. Because this is gonna fail it's just gonna die there is no secret about it it is a nice toy but it's not a good tool so I don't know if that makes sense to you or if you understand that I'm sure you that you understand my point it's nice to just have it there on the display you know uh, bragging about it I've got this nice tool I've got this nice toy but it's not a tool for you to use in the shop because this Baku, the one which is making noise over here, I've been using this for almost four years now. Okay, so there we go. We've got a display and uh, yeah, this is fixed. So like I said, uh, it's, I'm sure it's going to go on. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's coming on a second time. Uh, this Baku, I've been using it for almost four years now. I've never changed the element. I've never changed the pipe. I've never changed. The only thing that I've been changing is the soldering iron itself. And this... Yeah, that's the only thing I've been changing. But for this year soon, I've already changed. I've already uh, changed the soldering iron. The pipe has already died. With it, I think it took it like uh, it was something like eight months. Whereas the one for a friend of mine who's down the road, he bought the same thing also after it purchased mine. His didn't last two days. He bought it on a Friday. He used it that Friday, and then he came. He went home Saturday. We don't open Saturdays, both him and me. So when he came back on a Sunday, the machine just died. And when we tried to take it back, the, those guys, they refused to take it back. So yeah, I'm not sure why this keeps, the, oh, I think it's because of the off no hard drive. So we're probably going to keep doing this. Anyways, this is, so let me take out the keyboard and see if maybe it's the power button on the keyboard that's causing it to switch on and off. Anyways, so yeah, it is a nice toy. It's nice to just break about it sitting on the desk. I'm also going to plug a battery into this laptop to see if it's charging. Uh, okay. Yeah, it is charging. So it was on. Yeah, look at it there. Probably the battery is too flat because we've got orange blinks over here. There. So that simply means the battery is completely flat. So yeah, you can see now it's increasing. It went to like one amp for a split second over there. There we go. So this is charging now. Uh, so yeah, I would advise you to, if you're gonna use this for, if you're doing this like a lot, rather get something which is strong, something like this. So that's a Baku 702A. So yeah, of course it's loud and all that. Yeah, compared to this, this is you can you know you can put profiles on it like profile one, profile two, whatever. When you go channel one, you set it up maybe for cell phones, channel two for laptops, channel three for other stuff. Yeah, it's nice, it's good, I know. 
you've got an output there and all that you can you can temper with it you can reduce the airflow and stuff it's easier for you to work on phones using this uh to do micro soldering it's also good but if you want something like this rather get yourself a quick just go like i think it's there on on other websites or you could go for if you want uh a someone who's who is reliable like you know that you're gonna receive it rather just go to uh, i think not rich fix they sell it or to lewis rosman's shop uh rosman group whatever com online and you can buy it and it will work so you can see from my other technicians i call them this this one it's it's digital but it's pretty much the same as mine uh same with the other technician as well so yeah i'll rather get something like this which is gonna last long which is repairable easily uh and then when you've saved up enough money so for example me i'm now investing in the quick sooner or later the reason why i didn't buy it is that i was busy building this shop because i had to build this from scratch like the walls themselves there was nothing so it cost a lot so since now i'm done with that i can invest into buying say a quick buying a better dc power supply but for the meantime just get yourself this jyd get yourself this buckle it will last you long like i've been using these things for at least two years each that at least two years this for almost four years now so yeah it's just a tip and a bit of advice i hope you guys uh, learned something as always i will see you in another video uh which might be soon because i've got quite a lot as you can see there those are a lot of pending repairs over there so if i scroll there's a lot all the green ones are pending so yeah <laughs> that's a lot i will see you guys soon cheers